I've cut an amaryllis bulb in half and turned one side around so you can see the inside and the outside at the same time. We have the basal plate area right here, this growth of tissue, stem tissue right here. It has buds for roots that grow out and down. You can see some of them coming out here. It has buds for tunic leaves that grow on the outside, like these that have turned brown on the outside. It has buds for the storage leaves, these thick leaves that are in layers around the bulb. It has buds for photosynthetic leaves that are growing up through the center here and getting above the soil line so that they can grow and produce food and send that food back down into the basal plate that distributes it into the storage leaves. The basal plate also has the buds for flower stalks. Here's one that comes up. It had just made it above the bulb, but it had sat for a couple of months. So we cut this bulb in half and we find that the flower buds inside had died and turned brown. The other flower stalk coming from the basal plate has grown up. They are hollow when they get taller and it has a couple of buds and a couple of flowers and it only made it up a couple of inches so it really wasn't doing very well but it did bloom at just that just a couple of inches high so these are all the parts of a true bulb a uh, tunicate bulb because it has the tunic leaves it has the basal plate roots tunics storage leaves photosynthetic leaves flower stalks flowers with buds and flowers and all the rest of the little flower parts so there you go. That's the inside scoop of an amaryllis bulb. Thanks for watching.